hello guys welcome back to my channel programming with a purpose in this video i'm going to show you how to blur the background of the image for that i am going to use the previous code that i've used for image segmentation if you haven't gone through that code uh, please visit the link inside the description box and after that make the changes according to this tutorial to achieve these results so let's, let's get started So next we are going to basically open the file remove background uh, that we have added uh, in our image segmentation project and after that we are going to basically add a function with the name of blur image sorry for the typo it's not blue image but blur image we are going to pass two parameters to it one is an input image and another is the blur amount blur amount is basically to control the level of blur we want inside our images higher the value more the image will be blurry and that is going to return an output image after that we are we have got a context with no options we have created an input image with the ci image type from that input image that we have passed then we have created a filter which is basically of the type ci gaussian blur after that we have set two of the values of its parameters input image and blur amount after that we are going to write the blurred image into our output image and then we are going to return it from this function. So I have created a variable with the name of is original image user and I'm going to show you how we are going to use its value.
so guys the main part is basically to make changes to the mask and put image if the original image used is true we are going to basically get the background image from the input image otherwise we are going to load another image in which case we can basically change the uh, background of the image and we have i've shown you this line inside my code change background tutorial after that uh, what i have done is basically i am writing image inside both if and if and else so i've moved it outside uh, this if and else statements and uh, it, its type is mentioned as ui image and i have create called the blur image function on it to basically uh, i am going to pass my bg image to it and a blur amount of 50 after that it is going to return me the blurry image inside the image and then i am going to pass that image to basically line number 67 let background is equal to ci image so i am going to basically get the cg image from this image and i'm going to pass it to basically the background variable in line 67 So here finally I am making some of the changes in the content view what I have done is basically I have created a variable is original image used to basically get the toggle value which I am going to add after the button. So if the image is not loaded we are going to see the original image and these controls and once the output image is generated it, these controls will be hidden behind that uh, basically our output image. So and we are also going to pass the uh, bg remover instance with the value of is original image used so that it can be handled inside the remove background class. So this is all for uh, the coding part. So let's run the code. If I press the button blur background and the toggle is basically on then it is going to blur the background of this image and if it is off it is going to change the background blur it and paste it behind our the foreground object which is basically the car in our case so, so this is all for this tutorial So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and you have successfully achieved the results that I have shown you inside this tutorial. If there are any queries or suggestions, please post in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel because it will support me to create further interesting videos for you guys. Stay tuned to this channel. Take care of yourself. Bye.